Hey everybody, it's the Maximus Kane. Do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications button so you know whenever I put up new content and share all my videos on social media. With that, let's get on with the show. Hey, what's going on? This is Sammy, the Spanish God Guevara, and you're watching Maximus Kane and UPW. Everybody, the crowd is ready. It is Wednesday night showdown. It is the go home show before Armageddon. We have a great match card on hand. We are live in Fresno, California, and we're going to have some fun tonight. This can only be one man here in UPW, and we know who that is. This bout is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making his way down to the ring, standing at 6'11", weighing in at 455 pounds from Las Vegas, Nevada. He is the man, the myth, the legend, Wesley. Wolf! Wesley Wolf, former multi world champion. Knows what it feels to be in there with gold around your waist. And he's getting ever so closer his goal of getting more weight um getting more gold around his waist that was weird and this young man's been making a lot of headlines here in upw from the catskill mountains also standing at 611 weighing at 350 pounds tyson wyatt I say kid because this guy is new to UPW. He is making waves everywhere. Taking on every opponent. Even taking out the super heavyweight champion in Jericho White. So now he's got to this will be the second time that these two have been in the ring together, I believe. And um, we'll see if the outcome comes the same way or if it'll change this time. I believe Tyson Wyatt was not able to survive Wesley. Uh, Wesley Wolf's claw is just, if not the most devastating, maybe the second most devastating or equal to the super heavyweight champion's death grip and put you away right away. And if he gets a chance to put that claw on your head, you're pretty much over. And Wesley's always ready for a fight. Referee calls for the bell. Tyson Wyatt went right after Wesley. Wesley with a nice backdrop. And using those big elbows. And now on top of Tyson Wyatt just wailing on him. And just beating down on his head. Again with another elbow to the head. Wesley must be in a good mood because, you know, he's usually pissed off all the time in every match. He must be in a good mood because he's pretty... He's being kind of uh, kind of passive at the moment, believe it or not. Not phased, but look at another backdrop. Both men, for being as big as they are, 350 and 455, they have a lot of agility. 
Wesley going for a lackluster pin. He knows that's not going to get the job done, but why not, right? Wyatt tossed against the ropes. Oh, stops Wesley Wolf. Big. What is that? Uh, oh, it's not. It's not. It's just a forearm. It's just a forearm to the back. You used to be called something else back in the day. Damn, what a clothesline on Tyson Wyatt. And again, Wesley just punishing. I thought Wesley was in a good mood, and I think Tyson Wyatt just pissed him off. Wesley going for submission, digging that knee deep into the back of Tyson Wyatt and pulling on his arms. Tyson Wyatt fighting back. Tosses Wesley into the corner. Wesley stops the body slam. And Wesley's still working on that. Oh, what? Oh, misses with the clothesline, but Tyson Wyatt returns with a clothesline. Oh, he's going for a series. Oh, another clothesline, this time to the outside. As Wesley punishes Tyson Wyatt, sending him to the outside. Tyson Wyatt stopping the punch using a kitchen sink to Wesley's uh Oh, Wesley using his head. I am not off today. They are just moving a little bit faster than I am today, so. So I guess I am off then, right? Oh, Wesley looking for a claw slam. And takes out Tyson Wyatt. And again on top of Tyson Wyatt who's wailing on him. Tyson Wyatt with a nice punch to the face of Wesley. Wesley gets up right away. Looked like Wesley was about to grab him with that claw. Tyson Wyatt was even stopping. Now Tyson Wyatt. Oh, Tyson Wyatt. Oh, this is insult to injury. Going a little old school. Using one of Wesley Wolf's own moves against him. Wesley Wolf with a counter and a suplex. Wesley looking for choke slam. Broken up by Tyson Wyatt. Big backbreaker by Wesley Wolf over his knee. And a counter with a reverse. Short arm clothesline by Tyson Wyatt on Wesley Wolf. And again, tossing Wesley into the corner. Again, Wesley able to counter. Looking for another close. No, no. Looking for another choke slam. Tyson White was able to counter. Toss into the corner again. This time, Wesley not able to stop him. Overhead punch. And look at. He stretches his legs out that high. And is just choking and punishing Wesley Wolf. But it's taking a lot out of Tyson Wyatt. Tyson Wyatt is setting up. Could be looking for a choke slam of his own. No. Yes, he is. Oh. And goes for the pin on Wesley. And Wesley Wolf kicks out at two on the near fall. The man, the myth, the legend, not ready to give up yet. Backdrop by Wesley Wolf. Leg caught by Tyson White. Dragon screw. Belly to back suplex by Wesley Wolf. And Wesley's looking for the crowd to give him some help. Wesley tossing Tyson White into the corner. Tyson White stopping Wesley. Backbreaker into a Russian leg sweep. the pin and Wesley once again able to kick out at two on the near fall and now it's Tyson Wyatt working on the head of Wesley Wolf shoulder block counter by the man the myth the legend 
and Wesley trying to get another submission now by a claw hold not able to get him with that I believe Bukin and Fletch I could be wrong I usually am that's why you guys watch the show and you go man this guy really doesn't know his moves well you know I, I do know some of them and I have them written down in a computer base but you know when I'm putting it in a, oh claw slam <clears throat> when I'm putting a show together I don't put out their entire move set oh and Tyson Wayne kicks out at two on the near fall I mean if I did that I'd be here forever oh Wesley is definitely looking for the claws he is claw hold on Tyson Wyatt could this be it no Tyson Wyatt breaking out of the claw hold kick to the midsection of Wesley Wolf tosses Wesley to the outside violently and the rope was holding on to him there misses with an uppercut oh Wesley tossing a 355 pounder a 350 pounder remember 22nd standard count out here in UPW Wesley with a nice backdrop suplex Tyson White sweeping the leg and now calling at the crowd Wesley Wolf back to his feet slingshot on the neck of Tyson Wyatt and Wesley Wood trying to grab at Tyson Wyatt wasn't able to grab him back inside the ring looking for another claw slam and connects and Wesley with a kick to the abdomen Wesley looking for it. Wesley has not been able to hit that choke slam this entire time. But continues to go at it. Both men now on the outside. Wesley showing his athleticism for a big man. 455 pounds? Big headbutt by Tyson Wyatt. And Tyson Wyatt rolls back inside the ring. Referee still counting 20 seconds for Wesley to get up, so. And Wesley gets in before the count of six. Big boot to the face by Wesley Wolf. Now Wesley looking to the crowd. He could be on his way for a comeback. Oh, Tyson Wyatt again. Oh, and Wesley Wolf again with a counter. Another lackluster pin by Wolf. And a kick out by Tyson Wyatt at two. And another backbreaker into a Russian leg sweep combination by Tyson Wyatt. Now Tyson Wyatt in the corner. Striking up the band. Oh no, he went for a Claymore. And there's that choke slam again on Wesley Wolf. And Wesley kicks out at two. I could have swore I heard the mat hit. The hand hit the mat. And Tyson Wyatt looking for another choke slam. And hits it again on Wesley Wolf. And again, Wesley kicks out at two. That is why he is the man, the myth, the legend. Wesley Wolf has been with UPW since hell, maybe day one. Uh, going on since I started three years ago. 
Um, never had a season. Never had a, a game without Wesley Wolf in it. Oh, we got a bleeder. Wesley Wolf busting Tyson Wade's, uh, wide open. Big clothesline. So Wesley Wolf is an OG. Both humongous men jumping at each other. And Tyson White again showing his athleticism. Wesley looking for another claw slam. Man, he gets him up high. And he throws him down with a lot, a lot of power. Now Wesley with a pin hooks the leg. And that's all he needed. There is your winner. The man, the myth, the legend. Wesley Wolf. Take a look back at some of the action. He gets him up high. He really, really drills him into that man with that claw slam. He never did get the regular choke slam. He never could. Tyson White was able to block that. He was able to block that claw uh, hold on his head. But if at first you don't succeed, keep trying. Drenched in the sweat of his enemies. That man will have gold around his waist again soon, I can almost guarantee it. It was nice enough for somebody to bring Wesley's bike back out, right? There he goes off into the sunset. Wesley, the number one contender for the championship. So could he be fighting for the championship at Armageddon this Saturday? And could he be the champion going into Legacy? I don't know. We're going to see what the AI is going to do. And then of course, if the AI does something stupid, I'll change it. But number one contender, Wesley Wolf. And Tyson Wyatt right at the bottom at five. This is a tag team man scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making their way down to the ring. First, Brutus McGregor and Nathan Basham at a combined weight of 662 pounds. The weapons of mass destruction. These two men happen to become a tag team out of happenstance, it wasn't planned. But they work well together, so. And they have the look of gold all over their face. And they got a long way to go. They're about to face a former tag team champion. And their opponents at a combined weight of 745 pounds Nero and Praetorian the gladiators actually it's Praetorian but you know when I'm trying to say it fast it just doesn't come out right so I will try to be as conscious as possible to say Praetorian but you got better luck at getting hit by an elephant walking down the street with a mouse on its head with a hat 
and somebody pulling on his tail. I'm gonna get it wrong, probably. Not a lot is known of Praetorian. Nero is from Rome. But we don't know where Nero picked up Praetorian. But it's going to be Nero and Nathan Bashan starting things off. There goes the bell. Neckbreaker by Nathan Basham as both men were countering each other. Kick to the face. Now Basham. Working on the arm. Nero able to stop him and catch him. Oh, was trying to take him to the corner. I don't know why they do that. You know, he's... He's right there in the corner, and I don't know why they stop. Like if he's walking halfway around the ring, and he's not. Big clothesline by Nathan Basham on Nero after he was thrown into his own corner. And now Nero fighting back. Now tossing Nathan Batham, uh, Nathan Basham. And there's our first tag. Here comes Praetorian. Oh, <laughs> a double punch to the gut and to the face. That was funny. I like that. That was great. And I think that uh, right now, Nathan is in there with the biggest man of all four men in this, in this match. And there's a tag by Nathan Batson. And Brutus McGregor off the top rope. And a neck breaker on Praetorian. Oh, now just adding insult to injury right there. Shoulder block by Praetorian on uh, Brutus McGregor. McGregor. Oh my God. But it didn't seem to phase Praetorian at all. Nice backdrop on Brutus McGregor. The Gladiators, Praetorian, and Nero are former tag team champions. Tags Nero back in. And McGregor tossing. Oh no, Nero gets out of the way. And now Nero tossing. Brutus McGregor back into the corner. Gets a clothesline. Brutus McGregor with a backdrop on Nero. Nero rolls outside. Did he blow him a kiss? I wasn't looking. All I saw was the aftermath. Again into the corner in a clothesline. He may have blown him a kiss. He may have pissed him off. I don't know. He's looking for a hot tag. Both men on the outside. Both men countering each other. What a... Was that an Insiguri? Looked like an Insiguri. Didn't sound like it, but it definitely looked like it. Oh. And forearm to the head and a kick to the face of Nero. And he can't get the hot tag? What is he, stuck? And again, Brutus McGregor. Ugh. I do know what that move is, but it escapes me at the moment, so you guys figure it out. Thanks. Appreciate it. Wait for that high cross. And hits it on Nero. Goes for the pin. Nero, not going to let it happen. Brutus McGregor setting up Nero. 
power slam by Brutus McGregor into a pin. And Praetorian comes in and breaks it up. And look at Nathan Basham taking it to Praetorian. Praetorian's the tallest and biggest man in this match at four at seven foot three, four twenty-five. The next closest person to him is um, Brutus McGregor at three fifty. Right now is Brutus McGregor digging his knee into the back of Nero. El Nero with a counter. And a big jawbreaker. Nero on the comeback on Brutus McGregor. And a short arm clothesline by Brutus McGregor on Nero. And now tossing Nero into his corner. We got a tag. And there's a the fallout hitting on Nero. And Nathan with the pin. Praetorian comes in and breaks it up. Nathan Basham was going to the top turn, but Praetorian comes over and knocks him down. And of course my referee gets knocked down as well because that's all they do. And Nathan Basham, the weapons of mass destruction take the win as he makes Nero tap out. Big high cross. That was a massive power slam on Nero. The Praetorian was able to come in and break it up, but Brutus McGregor. He fought back. There's a fallout. But the Weapons of Mass Destruction win on a submission hold. And they are trying to climb up the ranks because they want some gold. And we know who the champions are right now. But who are they going to be facing on Saturday at the Armageddon? This contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making her way down to the ring from Milan, Italy. She is the diamond, Cristina Ricardo. Cristina Ricardo making her way here from Friday face off has been a thorn in the side of the Wednesday Night Showdown Women's Champion, Cameron Santos, over the past few weeks. And her opponent, hailing from Cheyenne, Wyoming, Emma Elliott. Emma Elliott, probably one of the most purest athletes here in UPW and by far, I don't care how anybody else is, by far, probably, I would say 99% is the strongest woman here in UPW, all of UPW. It's 
Dino Ricardo tried to go for a clothesline. Didn't phase Emma. Snapmare by Elliot on Ricardo. And look at the strength. Look at the strength of Emma Elliott. And a gut wrench slam on Christina Ricardo. And Christina Ricardo may not look at she's may not be as strong as uh, Emma Elliott. Oh great, my favorite move. But she is a former multi uh, time multi multi time? She's had the belt in Friday Face Off, the World Championship belt, uh, on a number of occasions. I think it's five or six. So, multi time champion. Goes for a jumping clothesline. Still doesn't affect Emma Elliott. Emma Elliott retaliating with a shoulder block. Oh, working on a side. Rib breaker. And Emma Elliott looks like she's in a bad mood. And Emma Elliott putting Christina Ricardo in the camel clutch. Looking for a submission. And Christina Ricardo able to escape. Arm drag counter by Christina Ricardo. And a roundhouse kick. And Christina Ricardo looking for a submission and a bow and arrow. Nice camera work. Oh, what a big clothesline by Emma Elliott and Christina Ricardo. Dropping her down. And now, I thought she was going for the pin. No, she's wailing on her. Punishing her. <clears throat> Emma Elliott. Xplex. Goes for the pin. And Christina Ricardo able to kick out at two on the near fall. Jawbreaker by Christina Ricardo. And countered by Emma Elliott pulling on the leg on the arm. And Emma Elliott looking for that bitter end. And there it is, the bitter end. Goes for the pin. And Christina Ricardo able to kick out at two. Emma Elliott once again. Countering Christina Ricardo's moves. And again, working on the ribs of Ricardo. Double axe handle to the back of Christina Ricardo. And another X-Plex. And the Elliot with the... No! Had the pin. Christina Ricardo still able to kick out. And now looking for the bitter end once again. And this could spell the end for Christina Ricardo. Lateral press, hook of the leg. Oh my god, Christina Ricardo able to kick out at two. After two X plexes, two bitter ends. What does it take to take this woman off her feet? Christina Ricardo. Oh, Christina Ricardo taking her with a pump handle gut buster. And if I was her, I wouldn't be standing around. Christina Ricardo. 
eight second ride. And a tilt to world DDT on Emma Elliott by Christina Ricardo. Pulls her away from the ropes. It's her first pin of the match. Referee's in position. And Emma Elliott able to kick out herself this time at two in the near fall. Now Christina Ricardo hoping to get a comeback going. And she is. Roundhouse to the face of Emma Elliott. Christina Ricardo jumping back inside the ring. Kick to the midsection. And a bitch slap. Oh, very European uppercut by Christina Ricardo. Goes for the pin. And Emma Elliott kicking out at two on the near fall. And Christina Ricardo. Usually going for that shooting star. But no. Going for another tilt to world DDT on Emma Elliott. Goes for the pin. And that's it. All that punishment that Emma Elliott dealt down to Christina Ricardo. And Christina Ricardo able to take the win. I'm telling you, man. That's why she's had the uh, world championship on Friday faceoff for multiple times. Christina Ricardo always finds a way to win and she's been in some real bad situations and ends up coming away with a win and she was really getting beat up in this match and was able to take all that punishment and still come out on top with a win so Congratulations to Christina Ricardo on the win. I don't know where that puts her and where that puts Emma Elliott in terms of standings on who will face who for the championship. I don't know who's going to be fighting on. I don't know what the match card is yet for Armageddon. That's going to be a surprise for you guys and for me. But there's a diamond. Christina Ricardo with the win. And lays out Emma Elliott with those two tilt -to world DDTs. And who knows, it may be Christina Ricardo and Cameron Santos at the pay-per-view. see the return of a member of the inner circle this match is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit making his way down to the ring from Perry Oklahoma standing at 6'7 weighing in at 275 pounds representing the inner circle Jake Hager Jake Hager obviously part of AEW and the inner circle I don't know if he's still part of MMA, if he's got a fight coming up or, or not. Um, he's 2-0-1. Two and, two, oh and one. So he hasn't lost a match. He's won two of his three matches, tied the third one in his fight. So And his opponent, standing at 6'3", weighing in at 240 pounds, from Buffalo, New York, he is the current UPW King of the Ring Champion, Dennis Diaz. 
course, Dennis Diaz representing the Four Horsemen, the leader of the Four Horsemen here on Wednesday Night Showdown. Uh, there's no real leader of the Horsemen um, on Monday since there's so many. Um, and then I forgot to mention Christina Ricardo being part of the Four Horsewomen, but no leader there either because most of the women that are part of the Four Horsewomen are on Friday Faceoff, so. This man never looks happy. He always looks upset. I gotta call him later to find out why he's all upset. Um, this is my brother in real life. Not the way that looks. He doesn't look like that. But this is my brother in real life. I gotta call him. I didn't make his character. Like, why the hell do you look so upset? But he earned that King of the Ring Championship. And he's defended it multiple times and still holding on to that son of a bitch. And it's gonna be Jake Hager and the King of the Ring Champion. Referee calls for the bell. Jake Hager with the height and weight advantage. Actually, yeah, the height and weight advantage. But this is the King of the Ring, and a man who uses his head as a battering ram, even if you bust him open when he bleeds, he still uses it. Big body splash. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on here? J.K. Hager's turned around. What? Sky Zone? Why is Sky Zone in there? Sky Zone with a bat and just hit Diaz with a bat. Sky Zone and hit him in the left arm. It looked like he was going for Jake Hager, but turned it around and went right to the King of the Ring. We know the King of the Ring attacked Sky Zone last week. Sky Zone just got a, maybe a little bit of retribution. <laughs> oh, God. Jake Hager snapping the leg back. Hey, ref, the bat's still in the ring. And there it is, battering ram. Dragon screw by Jake Hager. Referee's completely ignoring that there's a bat inside the ring snapmare by Jake Hager now going for a submission with the knee to the back pulling on the arms why has everybody got that move oh now the referee sees the bat toss against the ropes and a clothesline by Jake Hager on Dennis Diaz. Diaz with an uppercut. Kick to the midsection by Diaz. And a sit-out powerbomb by the champion. Jake Hager's short arm clothesline on the counter. Yeah, I would work on a different body part than the head, so that's a good thing they went for the elbow, uh, dropping the elbow on the leg. <coughs> now the king of the ring, tossing Jake Hager into the corner. Oh. Definitely able to get out of the way. I'm tossing Jake Hager to the corner once again. And again, the same result. They playing mind games with Jake Hager? Kick to the midsection. And a sit-out powerbomb again. Sorry, suplex into a powerbomb. Oh, crap. 
He's looking for that high cross. Oh my God! Halfway across the ring, Jake Hager's head hits the bottom rope. And now the king of the ring goes for the pin, holds the leg. And Jake Hager able to escape at two. I said holds the leg, hooks the leg. Don't give me any shit. Oh my God! <laughs> he was mocking Jake Hager with his own little uh give him a little taste of his old uh gimmick from back in the day of we the people belly to belly suplex by jay hager and the king of the ring champion able to kick out at two jawbreaker by the champion Champions showing some strength. Gut wrench, gut buster. And again, in your face, Jake Hager. We're the we the people. Nice drop kick. And another into a swinging neck breaker on the comeback. Picks up Jake Hager. And there's a vertical suplex power bomb once again by the champion. And pulls him away from the ropes. Goes for the pin. Hooks the leg. And again, Jake Hager able to kick out at two on the near fall. And the king of the ring could be looking for that high cross once again. Damn, but we're going to see the same thing. Oh my god, this time he hit two of the roof. I think he hit two. Maybe all three ropes. There's a lateral press. Hooks the leg on Jake Hager. And that's it. There is your winner. As the king of the ring takes out the returning Jake Hager here to UPW. And foils his return as Jake Hager was taking a small hiatus. main event we're going to see Damian Daniels and Blackwell Damian Daniels the Intercontinental Champion versus Blackwell that should be a great match we still got some Lucha Libre action coming up and a new debut of a new uh, female superstar here on Wednesday Night Showdown and in UPW And the King of the Ring stands tall. I know he will probably, I know all these belts will be defended at UBW Honor, but are they all gonna be defended at Armageddon? That's what we have to see. And I might be able to give you an update on that on Friday Face Off, on what's gonna be happening on Armageddon. This match is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making his way down to the ring from Katy, Texas. Standing at 5'10", weighing in at 185 pounds. The Spanish God, Sammy Guevara. Sammy Guevara also part of the inner circle.
Kid's only 22, he's got a great future ahead of him. And he's talented. He's damn good in the ring. Let's see if he can keep that going. And his opponent, standing in 6'1", weighing in at 198 pounds, from Monterrey, Nueva León, Mexico, Humberto Carrillo. Of course, Humberto Carrillo, the former Former Lucha Libre Champion here on UPW. Uh, he will be fighting on uh, Saturday at the pay-per-view uh, for his chance at a rematch. And see if he can recapture that gold. Referee calls for the bell. Collar and elbow tie up between both men. Humberto Garillo pushed into the corner. Referee looking for a clean break. And that's what he gets. Another collar and elbow tie up against the ropes. And another clean break. Sammy Guevara with a standing Hurricane Rana on the former champion. Okay. Now both men on the outside. Humberto Carillo. Oh. It looked. I don't know what it. Oh, what a body slam on the outside. Looked like he was going for attitude adjustment on the outside. Maybe a Death Valley driver. It was reversed by Sammy Guevara. Guevara. Now Guevara tosses Humberto Carillo back inside the ring. And a drop kick by Sammy Guevara. And a backflip by the Spanish God. Both men back inside the ring. Toss into the corner. Sammy Guevara missing with that kick in the corner. And Humberto Carillo is going to try and capitalize on that mistake. Misses with that swinging leg. Snap suplex by Sammy Guevara and Humberto Carrillo. Humberto Carrillo catching the leg of Sammy Guevara. Now dropping the knee across the face of Sammy. And Humberto Carrillo drop kick to the back of Sammy Guevara, the Spanish God. And a leg drop across the right arm of Sammy Guevara. Sammy Guevara with a counter. This time hits the drop kick in the corner to the back of Humberto Carrillo. And tosses him into the opposite corner. This time misses. That was not going to be a clothesline. I don't know what it was going to be, but definitely missed. Sammy Guevara, back kick. And a clothesline to Humberto Carrillo to the outside. And Sammy Guevara telling Humberto Carrillo to get back inside the ring. Oh, and Sammy was playing to the crowd too much. Humberto Carrillo tosses Sammy Guevara into the corner. And Carrillo misses Sammy Guevara. Slides under into a Hurricane Rana. Sammy Guevara. And a torture rag backstabber. 
What's Sammy looking for here? Oh, a GTS by Sammy Guevara goes for the pin on Humberto Carrillo. And Carrillo able to kick out at two on the near fall. Boy, these guys like to go in the corner. There's a cartwheel moonsault by the former champion. There's a pin. And Sammy Guevara able to kick out at two on the near fall. Kick to the midsection. And a sit out power bomb by Humberto Carrillo. Sammy Guevara fighting back. And now Humberto Carrillo using the same move to fight back. Humberto Carrillo showing a little bit of strength there using his arm. And Sammy again with a standing hurricane runner. And he just flipped off the ref. Oh, Sammy's just raking on the eyes of Humberto Carrillo. And now Sammy on the comeback. Humberto Carrillo is laid out. Sammy Guevara on the top turnbuckle. And was going for a shooting star. Humberto Carrillo was able to get his knees up. And now Sammy Guevara tossed into the corner. Now Humberto Carrillo setting up Sammy Guevara into the tree of woe. And we know what Humberto Carrillo is going to do. He's going to fly. He's going coast to coast. And in nombre de Padre y el Espíritu Santo. Praying that he doesn't die on the way there. And goes coast to coast hitting Sammy Guevara right in the face. With that kick. Now pulls Sammy away from the ropes. Hooks the leg. Goes for the pin. And the coast to coast was enough. I didn't even know Humberto Carrillo got busted wide open. But he did. And the coast to coast was enough to put away the Spanish gun, Sammy Guevara. Thought it was over after that turnaround GTS, but he was able to escape after the two. I still don't get this move. This cartwheel moonsault, it really doesn't do anything. I really don't get it, but that's not what put an end to his match. Sammy Guevara making a mistake there with that moonsault. But that coast to coast was enough to put away Sammy Guevara and Zumberto Carrillo. May have took some pain in the back, but Sammy Guevara, Guevara got the entire impact of that. Coast to coast. And that's a lot of momentum for this young man as he tries to go after the championship once again. He will be trying to take the championship away from the man who just ripped it off of his waist. Tanaka Suzuki. But I don't know if he can get it done, but he's definitely going in with some momentum. Okay, no bell. This contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making our way down to the ring from Dayton, Ohio. Nevaeh 
I really hate when they don't ring the bell. It's not like it's a special match. And her opponent, from Waterbury, Connecticut, Mercedes Martinez. Mercedes Martinez making her way here to UBW. She was here for a short stint, and then she was gone. She is now back. And on Wednesday Night Showdown. Hoping to make a statement here. Winning her first match in UPW since her return. Like I said, she had a short stint here in season six. And it's her and Nevaeh locking up. Nevaeh turning it around. Into a headlock. Nevaeh currently on Impact Wrestling and of course Mercedes Martinez and it is going to be Mercedes Martinez I'm not going to change the name she's currently in you know WWE as Meltribution which is stupid it's such a stupid thing it's so stupid they're just going to do what they do with all those big factions like they did with um, Nexus they're gonna just, they're gonna fall into obscurity. Turns her around, big clothesline to Mercedes Martinez by Nevaeh on the outside. And Martinez with the counter, clothesline of her own. Referee is at seven, standard count out again, 20 seconds. Why do I keep repeating that? I have no idea. Side suplex by Martinez. Oh, kick to the side. Now, is she raking her eyes? Or, yes, she is. Mercedes is being very vicious. Goes for the pin on Nevaeh. Just a one count. Kicking out just at the same time. As the referee's hand hit the mat. And whatever Mercedes was going for, Nevea able to stop her. Now Nevea tosses to Martinez into the corner. Big clothesline. And Nevea. Backbreaker. And another. On Mercedes. And Nevea doesn't look to be done yet. Nevea with that package backpack stunner. Oh, misses with the clothesline. Kick to the midsection by Mercedes Martinez. Takedown by Nevea. And a counter by Mercedes. Oh, was going for a clothesline, gets tripped across the ropes. And Mercedes just pushing down. Remember, those ropes have steel inside there. Neve on the apron. Damn that ass. Um, and gets knocked out to the outside by Mercedes Martinez. Oh, a code breaker on the outside to Nevaeh by Martinez. And tosses her and she hits the table. Nevaeh with a left. Goes back inside the ring. Both women now back in the ring. Snapmare takedown. Elbow counter by Martinez. That was kind of a lackluster. Oh, big boot to the face. Lackluster knife edge chop, right? Uh, 
Nice takedown by Nevaeh. Taking her down with a headlock into a slam. Oh, nice German suplex. Oh, going for submission. Nevea trips up Martinez, escapes the submission hold. Now Nevea, snap suplex. Crossed against the ropes. Not able to get that belly to belly suplex. Another clothesline in the corner by Nevea. And Nevea could be looking for a comeback. No, she's not looking for a comeback. She's looking for that back back stunner. And hits it again. This time Nevea going to the top turnbuckle? Nevea dropping that big elbow across the back, the lower back of Mercedes Martinez. And if I was her, I would have went for a pin, but she's looking for here. Rainmaker DDT on Martinez. Goes for the pin. And Martinez able to kick out at two. Now Nevea looking for a comeback. No, she's still not looking for a comeback. Tosses Martinez to the outside. Try to go for a knife as shot. Oh, Martinez. They're countering each other. Martinez went for a clothesline. Was, and what the hell are they doing? What? What are they playing? What the hell are they doing? Nevea. With a nice German suplex into a pin, but too close to the ropes. Pulls Mercedes away. Kicking the hamstring. Mercedes now on the outside. Nevaeh back on the top turnbuckle. And was going for a crossbody. And just a little bit short. And knocked out on the outside. Mercedes Martinez back inside the ring. But Nevea is starting to come too. Back inside the ring. And ready with another Rainmaker DDT. Goes for the pin on Mercedes. And that's all. There is your winner, Nevea. And laughing at Martinez as she takes the victory. And Nevaeh foils the return and debut of Mercedes Martinez. Can't take anything away from Mercedes. I know I keep saying it in English and Spanish, but I can't take anything away from her. She's a great wrestler. She's gonna be, she's gonna have a good future here in UPW. It's not gonna be a short stint this time. But Nevaeh was just, prepared beautiful German suplex into a pin but it was that uh, Rainmaker DDT that put an end to Nevea I mean to uh, Mercedes and stands tall in the ring by herself as the winner Nevea where does that put her What's gonna happen on Armageddon on Saturday? All right, it's time for our main event. It's gonna be Damian Big Manny Daniels against Blackwell. Coming up next.
This contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making his way down to the ring from Portland, Oregon, standing at 6 1. What the? It's Lance, it's Lance Archer. Lance Archer with a chair to the back. To the back of the Intercontinental Champion. Where the hell did he come from? And dropping him. And the Intercontinental Champion fighting back. And now making his way down to the ring. Now both men in the ring. This is not a match. Lance Archer still putting on. That is a 6 8. Non natural man. Uh, hu non. Just not natural. He. Person of humanity. Just. He's a monster. And Lance Archer just took out the Intercontinental Champion for no reason at all. Right. 